What's new in the world, ladies and swordsmen? My name is Sideblade, and welcome back to Man Eater Truth Quest DLC. Picking up where we left off last time, and now we're hunting down some sailor trash. Gotta consume 10 sailors. Easy, easy, organ squeezy. And rupture and devour. I'm just glad for once I'm not having to do another takedown of those beacons or towers or whatnot. Did what she's already witnessed. Eat. The predator no lashes problem. out against the aluminous boots. They should have made like legit. 20 sailors. That was almost too easy. Now, now I gotta do a mission that I kinda don't wanna do. The stop hammer time. Kill five hammerheads. I don't wanna do that. So first shark back to the video, there are nine different species of hammerheads, and of those nine species, five are endangered because of course they are. No! Before I get into that though, I'll explain the how the conservation ranking works. We've got Seven rankings in total. Starting from most, or er, starting to animals we're not worried about to being extinct. It goes least concern, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, extinct in the wild and then just plain extinct. And technically... Like I said, there's a difference between vulnerable and endangered, but the scope of concern ranges from vulnerable to critically endangered. So, if it's one of those three, uh, vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered, they're all animals we should be concerned about, so they're all basically endangered. There's only really a ranking system at that point, but they're all basically, like I said, endangered. So, starting off, we have the Great Hammerhead, which, as you might have guessed, is the largest of all hammerhead species, reaching to a I grand started total this channel of, six months ago, oh. only to be met with personal attacks. I was by hoping that mission would take longer. Like uh, Bong Lord okay. 69, who commented, "What a dumb a word, f word, piece of s word." Okay, so continues in that vein for several paragraphs. Uh, Thanks, Cyril. Uh, we really need that info. Okay, so yeah, great hammerheads, biggest of all of them. They can reach up to 20 feet long. Oh right, by the way, I forgot to mention. So yep, the great hammerheads are regular endangered, and they're being overfished for because they're so large. Obviously, their fins are large too. So. They're often hunted for shark fin soup, which I'll get into later. Trust me on that. Next, we got the scalloped hammerhead, which are identi easily identified by their... They have like a little indent in their, you know, hammer head piece. So 
It looks like a scalloped shell. Okay, where am I going now? Uh, kill five great whites. Oh, come on! And... Destroy the target. Okay. Drop shadow. Why do I have a feeling this is gonna be bad for me? Manhattan Project graduate, the shadow organ. Well, that can't be good. Well, I'm probably gonna die. Uh, but... Might as well give it to old college try, I suppose, even though I never went to college, but... You get poisoned oh. by a shadow orca? Good luck tracking down that. Yeah, right? Oh, fun fact, not about sharks or orcas or anything, but, um... The sea snakes are actually some of the most venomous snakes on the planet. And, of course, since they're so rare and at sea, once, just like the shadow shark and orca, we have no cure for them. So yeah, be careful if you see any snake or eel-like creature in the water. Just probably best to avoid it. Yeah, there we go. Off to music or something because I wouldn't figure something epic would be playing during this. Oh god! Wrong! <sighs> so, like I was saying earlier, Scalloped Hammerhead, one of the bigger ones, but like I said, not as big as the Great Hammerhead. And you've got the indent, so their head looks like a bit more of a scallop shape than some other hammerheads. And their status is endangered as well. Go figure. At least someone oh. has recognized the orca's genocidal intentions towards America. I don't know about genocidal intentions towards America, but yeah, orcas are pretty messed up. Next type of hammerhead, we have the smooth hammerhead, which doesn't have any kind of indentation, unlike most other hammerheads. And okay, let's see, got that, got that. Good, good. All right then. I think that's everything except for the atomic body, but we're getting to that right now. Oh. There we go. Duh. All right. Fully upgraded atomic body. Let's see what we're working with here now. Oh yeah, I don't have the atomic tail yet. That's unfortunate. That looks like the most metal shark of all time. Except maybe a shark robot. And now, I'm a hammerhead shark, which is cool, and gives me more of an excuse to talk about hammerheads. Alrighty then. Oh my god, I can shoot giants. Radioactive torpedoes. I am unstoppable. You cannot defeat me, Great Whites. 
Uh, for anyone run wondering, the Great White is on the vulnerable status of uh, sharks or, you know, conservation status. Wait a second, did I already do it again? I must warn you that as we venture further into the heart of darkness, you may be shocked by the atrocities unfolding before. is the wing head and they have they're one of the smaller um, hammerheads but they've got the biggest uh, or one of the biggest definitely hammerheads that has the name okay. wing head tend to block 50 and they're in danger too this is just the sort of response I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind global events yeah, great. Well, I'm trying to inform them why sharks are in danger and why that's more important. So shut up, Cyril. Your time has come. The shark you struggles. Time to remind you who's at the top of the food chain. Next type of hammerhead is the bonnet head. It's one of the smaller ones and more active compared to the others, but they have surprisingly large pectoral fins to help them swim and navigate the water better. And thankfully, they're one of the least concerned. So finally some good news. Maybe I shouldn't try to read and play a game at the same time. Oh my god. And next we've got the scalloped hammerhead, which is relatively rare and one of the smaller ones as well. Only a meter in length, but they're one of the more rounded types. And they are near threatened. So not quite in danger yet, but believe that 300,000 so years ago, the insectoids created either. humans to mine the Earth's gold. But this is absurd. We're clearly uh, more interested in our copper to, reserves. What's next? No one cares what you're saying, Zero. Destroy the power plant node model. In a keen interest in an electrical transport. Oh, not again! Wait, ideas are forming. No, I said to aim at the giant reeking hole. Oh, oh, I missed. Uh, I guess I gotta use their explosives after all. And by the way, next type of hammerhead we've got the scoop head, which is just a little bit bigger than the scallop bonnet head and a lot of people get confused but they're two different kinds scoop heads have more rounded shovel like heads and we don't exactly know where they sit there because data is deficient we don't have enough data on them so for all we know they could be endangered but we just don't know Should look to getting. Have they been throwing any bombs yet? Uh, I think I've seen a few, but definitely not enough for me to be destroying this giant. Oh, wait, there we go. Finally got a shot off. Here 
can't kill me. You can make pretty good attempts, I'll admit, but you can't truly kill me. And next kind of shark, we got the uh, small eye hammerhead, which is. One of the smallest, if not the smallest of all of them. And they've got somewhat of a golden uh, hue to their heads, which is kind of cool. And the they are vulnerable as well. It's rolling weight churning with the blood of the last kind. We have the Carolina Hammerhead, which we don't know a whole lot about either. It's we only actually classified it as a species pretty recently. Hypoxy sets hold as the creature awkwardly struggles on land. Oh god, suffocating. And they tend to hang out around shallow waters and ports, so they're they're pretty vulnerable to overfishing, but currently they have yet to be assessed for where they sit on the uh, conservation scale, so once again, we don't really know. So, oh, it's probably a good indication. I'd probably at least call them vulnerable. But that's me being a pessimist and not hopeful and assuming the worst of humanity, which, you know, easy to do, but I shouldn't always. Surrender your souls! Yeah, there we go! That was way easier than any other That time Transformer been... must have been powering NASA's insidious Project Bluebeam. But how did the shark know? I'm really yes. annoyed it's with these conspiracy theories. It's time we destroy theories. all license plates, for they are just another symbol by which the state asserts its control over. Really? Ooh, now we pretty. see what the NWO's been hiding. Inside sources have ascertained its name, Moloch. This devious aquatic bioweapon uh, is designed to disperse a mist of viral particulates. A potent combination of Ebola, anthrax, and Lassa fever. Within weeks, it will I spread don't from Port Clovis to is. infect the entire world. Then, Big Pharma will reveal that they've developed a vaccine. The price? Every country must submit to the Insectoid Brotherhood. We must stop them before they can implement their demonic program. Okay, finally we're getting some uh, backstory and whatnot, so that's good. That actually sounds like it could be a threat, so I'm gonna have to deal with that next time. For now, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this and want to see more, go ahead and slash that subscribe button. If you like this video, give a quick cut to the like button. Leave a comment down below. Share it around with all your friends. Be sure to click the notification bell so you never miss it when I upload a video. And be sure to follow me on Twitter. Then I'll see you on the next video. But until then, my people, stay... Shot. Sure.